here we are at Sala, the wet market. It's a Saturday morning and a very busy morning. Here's a typical vegetable stand. Right now the mangoes are in season. We have little mini round eggplants, some limes, some beans, cauliflower, itty bitty little things, bitter gourd, radish, Chinese radish, winter melon, eggplant, tomatoes, carrots, onions, red shallots, red onions. There's some potatoes behind the cucumbers. Some Chinese cabbage, some regular cabbage, some uh, Bruin, the yellow stuff is what they make the sour soup from and many other soups. There is banana flour, green bell peppers, long beans, some of my favorite beans to buy, and the assortment of leaves and herbs that are used in Cambodian soups and eating. There's the saw leaf right there, and various lettuces, very standard Cambodian lettuce. We have baby bok choy. Here are Cambodian collard greens, called katma. There is the jaradruan that makes the samlomadrugun. It's a green water vegetable, or also known as Morning Glory grows in the water. This is the same kind of flower, but it grows naturally, whereas this one is planted. We have lemongrass and spring onions or green onions. You can't experience Cambodia without having some, without having some fried insects. Some fresh poultry, fresh chicken. Freshly plucked, you can buy it and do whatever you want with it. Here's some Cambodian desserts. They're made with various beans, sweet beans, and tapioca, and rice noodles that are colored, bright colors, like no, bright it's pink. Tapioca. Oh, it's tapioca, mm -hmm. not rice noodles. Here's an image of a typical dry goods shop in Cambodia. You have salt, you have MSG, you have peanuts oils, dried noodles, dried peppers, dried shrimp, canned milk, also they often sell garlic at these dry goods. Here we have some Cambodian prahap. Here are some watermelons grown in Cambodia. They're actually quite large considering because most watermelons are the size of a softball. This one's been peeled to show what the inside looks like, to show they're red and ripe. All sorts of people come through on their bicycles. This one's selling flowers. It's Pagoda Day today. Also, more vegetables and a basket shop. Lots of baskets for many different purposes and many different uses. These are big market baskets that people will transport their fresh produce in. Oh, one of my favorite street sells snacks. Jake and more desserts. Some of my favorites. These are small rice balls made with uh, sugar cane inside and then freshly shredded coconut on top. They are sweet and delicious. Here's some more desserts that are made with tapioca, like a gel and a more of a gelatin, a creamy gelatin. Lots of bananas in Cambodia, many different colors, many different kinds. They come in in big bunches from the countryside and then they bring them to the shops to sell. You see bananas everywhere. Bananas, bananas, bananas. These bananas are often used in the ceremonies and to give to the monks of the pagoda and to offer. We have various uh, rice cakes, traditional steamed rice cakes. Oh, there's this a beautiful flower and there's a bee sitting right inside trying to pollinate it. So that is cut and dead and won't 
come up. Nothing will come up. If you can't afford a bottle of oil, you can buy it in a bag for a lot less. We also have various palm sugar syrup, more yellow color, and then a red color. And of course the all-important peanuts. These have been roasted. And then something else that I'm not entirely sure of. Here we have a housewares shop with pots and pans. Up above are Vietnamese coffee makers, frying pans. There's some fishing baskets hanging back in the back. Plastic pots, plastic buckets. Lots of different things. Here we have this woman grating the fresh coconut. So she puts the coconut on the special spinning machine. It grates it all out. I hear this sound from my house every day. This is what the grated coconut looks like. And then this is what the coconut looks like. They're the older, hard coconuts. So here they're transferring the coconut, the ground coconut, into the machine instead of by hand to make the fresh coconut milk. So this is the ground coconut. Add some water and then the machine produces coconut milk, which you see there into the bucket in the strainer, strained out. And this is the dried, desiccated coconut that comes out on the other end after it's been squeezed. them cutting open the old coconut. The woman is selecting the coconut. Then she cuts off the end. And then she goes right to the middle with the machete. And then pours the water from the coconut. The strain. And it goes in the basket. For the woman to grate. Here we have an interesting pile of jelly, jelly something or other, to make dessert, like you see here. And here we have some sausage that she's grilling right here on the street. Oh, that looks so yummy and delicious. This is a traveling little setup that she carries around. Here's the tofu that I like. All right, so here we have a sewing craft shop. We've got buttons and buttons and notions and little pieces of sequins in all different sorts of colors and material for making traditional Cambodian ceremony clothes and wedding clothes and this looks like a sewing repair shop look at all those sewing machines there's a brother sewing machine Yamata, that looks like a thread puller. Just rows upon rows of sewing machines. And of course, amongst the new machines, there's always going to be an old machine. And it used to come as part of one of these. A treadle, a foot treadle 
sewing machine. The actual machine has been pulled off of the table. These uh, are my aunt, the one who made clothes uh -huh. for you. She used this. Yeah. It's an old singer. This one is the, the old one, right? This one is uh, the modern one. <laughs> One of our close family friends that used to be a neighbor when I was a child, she she owned a sewing shop. She closed it before I came back to Cambodia. Uh, just too much work. So I like, I like something like that. And she wanted to retire and spend time at home. My dad's mother she used to do a lot of crap. Saturday I will be 